everyone and welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making a s'mores cheesecake. Very delicious, so creamy and you are going to love it. It's very easy to put together but just like any other typical cheesecake it just takes a little bit of time before you can actually eat it. So let's start off with the base. We are going to need a graham cracker crust which is uh, just graham crackers, some melted butter and sugar. I have shown um, you guys how to make this on my channel quite a few times it's very easy just mix all the ingredients together and press it into your pan which has been greased with some non-stick spray and uh, that's that so that's for our base and um, for the filling we are going to need some softened cream cheese at room temperature some eggs some marshmallow fluff which uh, you can find at your local grocery store and we'll need some salt, cornstarch, some half and half cream, and some vanilla extract. Now, before making the filling, we are going to be making a chocolate mixture, which is just two ingredients, some semi-sweet chocolate chips and some milk. Now, that will be the first thing we will do before actually making our filling. Okay, so my chocolate mixture here took two minutes exactly to melt. And as I mentioned, every 30 seconds, I gave it a stir. And then I left it at room temperature here on my counter for 10 minutes. You just want to allow it to kind of cool just a little bit and it starts to thicken up nicely. And now we are definitely ready to place this on top of our cheesecake base. And then we are going to freeze this for 20 minutes. Okay, so while our base and our chocolate mixture are in the freezer, we are going to work on our filling. So the first thing we are going to do is cream our cream cheese, which is at room temperature, very important. And uh, we're going to whip it here until it is nice and creamy. And then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you just want to whip your cream cheese until it is nice, smooth, and creamy. And just make sure that you're scraping down the sides of your bowl and the bottom as you go along so everything is uh, evenly creamy and smooth. And now we are ready to add in the remaining of our ingredients except for our eggs. Okay, so you want to um, mix your mixture here just until your filling is nice, creamy, and smooth as you can see. You don't want to over mix it, but you want to make sure that you no longer see any visible clumps of cream cheese or any other ingredients. Now that's very important. And make sure that you scrape the bottom and sides and your paddle attachment as many times as necessary so that uh, everything gets incorporated um, at the same time. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, lightly beat our eggs just with a fork and then we will add them in and mix it again until everything is nice and smooth and then we are ready for the next step. Okay, so our filling looks amazing. It is nice and smooth. And now what we're going to do is place this on top of our chocolate that is um, in the freezer. And then we will be ready to bake it. Okay, so just a couple of things before we move forward. Now, I did leave my base here in the freezer for 30 minutes. After 20 minutes, it wasn't uh, too firm, so I left it in there for another 10 minutes. So that's good. I also wanted to let you know that when I mentioned um, the mixture of the chocolate and the milk, it's not milk, it is half and half cream. I apologize for that, but the full recipe will be in the description box below as always. And now we have our filling ready, 
and you want to make sure you have your oven preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and um, we are ready to place this on top of our chocolate and then bake it for about an hour and 10 minutes or so. You'll notice that the center is slightly jiggly and uh, the rest of the cheesecake is pretty firm. And then I'll show you what to do at that point. I also do suggest using a uh, baking sheet under your cheesecake, just in case you have any um, of the butter or anything dripping from the bottom. It doesn't make a mess in your oven. So we are ready to place our filling on top of our chocolate crust. Okay, so my cheesecake baked at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for exactly one hour. Now you just want to leave your oven on because we are going to place our cheesecake back in. Now what I have here is some marshmallows which I cut in half. Now what you want to do is just take the marshmallow and just turn it sideways and cut it in half that way and then we will just place it all around of our cheesecake and then we'll place it back in our preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, we will leave it in there for another five to seven minutes or when you notice that your marshmallows are a nice light golden brown. Okay, so don't worry if your cheesecake cracks a little bit because we obviously are going to be covering it with marshmallows like we just did and it won't be a problem at all. So now we are definitely ready to place this back into our oven. Okay, so our cheesecake was back in the oven for exactly nine minutes. As you can see, our marshmallows are a nice golden brown. And now what we're going to do is we're going to leave it here at room temperature just as it is for about 10 minutes. And then with a butter knife, you want to gently go around the edges of the cheesecake just to make sure everything is nice and loose from the pan. And then we will leave it at room temperature for another hour. After that, you want to place it in the fridge for probably about eight hours or even overnight is always better best. Okay, so my cheesecake was in the fridge overnight and we are most definitely ready to try a slice. It is amazing, it is creamy, it is delicious. It's not overly sweet, but then you have the chocolate, the crust, and the marshmallows that add just perfection to this cheesecake. It is so wonderful and you are going to love it. So do give this one a try. Okay, so just a few tips while making your cheesecake. Now, if you want to use milk chocolate instead of semi-sweet chocolate on the bottom layer, you can switch that up. You can also use mini marshmallows on the top instead of the large marshmallows. Just make sure if you're using either one that you don't place it too close to the edge or it'll be a little more difficult to remove from the pan and it will all stick. Um, also, you don't want to open the oven while baking your cheesecake. Make sure that you leave the door closed until the end. Now, when slicing your cheesecake, you also want to run your butter knife under some hot water and clean it with some paper towel every time you cut a slice so that you have clean slices all the way around. And pretty simple to put together, just a few steps to follow, and that's about it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new and delicious recipe. Share the recipe with your family and friends, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. The links will be in the description box below, along with the recipe. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye, everyone. Thank you.